a very dear friend of mine just recently passed away and I went to his funeral and afterwards stopped by the grocery store and as I was walking down the aisle, a song played overhead that reminded me of him and I just started crying in the middle of the grocery aisle. And I know I am not alone in my grief there. I know the grocery store aisles and the songs that they play in the grocery store somehow have some sort of magnetic charge to our grief that somehow, some way, those songs are just this perfect match. Or maybe we allow ourselves to be vulnerable because we're distracted by something else. I don't know what it is about those grocery store aisles, but the important thing to know is that we need to allow ourselves to feel the feels. We need to allow ourselves, even if you're walking past the canned foods, right? To allow yourself those tears and those emotions. And so today we're gonna learn how to take care of ourselves here in this space. And it doesn't have to be grief, although grief shows up in every element of our life every life change that we experience, we experience grief. We of course experience grief when people pass away, but there's so many more layers to grief. But when we can recognize that it's grief that we're feeling, then we're kinder to ourselves, we're nicer to ourselves. And I hope after today, we take care of ourselves because often we wanna blame someone. We wanna say, this is your fault, or I don't want this to be happening. But it's no one's fault and it's no one's responsibility to heal your heart except for yours. And so today we're going to take the time to just hold your heart and to just take care of it. We're actually going to physically hold our hearts today and just give ourselves the love and tenderness and understanding that we need. So go ahead and close your eyes, bringing your attention down to your pelvic floor, the base of your spine, your perineum just settling into this space. And seeing this beautiful tree root grow from that space down into the center of the earth, clicking in and pulling taut and giving so much gratitude to Mama Earth. Thank you, Mama Earth, for the sun and the moon and the stars and the mountains and our food and our water and our trees. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, so grateful, thank you. And you can remain in this state of gratitude for as long as you like. And when you're ready, you can then just release and let go all that does not serve you down that root into the center of the earth. Releasing, letting go like a toilet would flush down. We release and let go oh, what does not serve us down into the center of the earth. And that center of the earth is made up of this beautiful hot molten lava that transforms what does not serve us into strength and preparation, readiness, wisdom. And you can remain in this state for as long as you like, but when you're ready, you can draw that beautiful earth energy up that root, filling in your pelvic floor, the base of your spine, your perineum. I am safe, I am secure, I am protected. And then drawing that energy up into your heart space. We're going to place your palms over your heart, and it can be over your heart, it can be in the center, over your just heart center, whatever feels warm, and comforting to you. Maybe today it needs to be directly over your physical heart. Maybe it needs to be in the middle. It is your heart center. Whatever feels right for you is good for you. But placing your hands over your heart and just beginning to quiet your breath and your mind here into this space. Can you feel your heart beating? And as you might be feeling your heart beating in your hands and your palms, maybe you can even hear it within your body. Tune in to that heartbeat. What is your heartbeat saying to you? Where can you be kinder to yourself, more gentle with yourself, more loving? with yourself. Oh heart, I forgive you for holding these standards to myself that I don't need to be holding. 
I'm sorry that I don't realize how amazing and wonderful I am that I am this divine being here in this space. I am perfect exactly the way I am. I'm deserving of love and abundance and happiness. And we'll take this ne next minute to just tell ourselves, I love you. I love the part of me that feels afraid. I love the part of me that worries. And because as we love these parts, we love them away. It's fear that's really keeping those things that hold us back in place. And so as we love them, we can just love them away. I love the part of me that worries. I love the part of me that's afraid. And in doing so, I love the part of me that's willing to take a chance again. I love the part of me that continues on, that forges on. I love you, I love you, I love you. And you can continue on with this love, basking and showering for as long as you like. When you're done, I want you to listen to your heartbeat again. Can we just get quiet? Listen to that heartbeat again. Does it sound the same? And is it telling you something different? Is it saying thank you? Is it telling you I, I want some more of that? I love you, I love you. Or is it just happy to be here with you, taking this time to listen to what your heart wants to tell you? And you can remain in this state, listening to your heart and holding your heart for as long as you like. And when you're ready, can bring your attention. Say thank you, heart, for sharing, being here with us today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. And bringing your attention back down to your pelvic floor, the base of your spine, your perineum, if you're ready. Seeing that beautiful root push down through your pelvic floor, down into the center of the earth, clicking in and pulling taut, and then drawing up that earth energy one more time up into your pelvic floor the base of your spine, your perineum, I am safe. I am secure, I am protected. Thank you, Mama Earth. And on the count of two, you're gonna rub your palms together, three, massaging whatever might have fallen asleep, four, taking a great big deep breath and stretch, and five, coming back awake, alert, and refreshed, back to this moment now. I love this meditation. I think it is so important for us to hold our own hearts and for us to love on our hearts and for us to love on ourself. There's only two emotions that exist, fear and love. So if you feel fearful, afraid, upset, love on it. Use this meditation and love on it until it goes away because it will. When we are full of self-love, divine love, whatever kind of love you want to call it, we attract more of the same. So you will begin to attract this life that is delicious and loving and full and so enjoyable. I cannot wait to hear in the comments down below how this meditation was for you. What did your heart say to you? How did that feel? Did it change? From the beginning to the end, I so want to hear in the comments down below if you found this helpful. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing and sharing with all your friends. Spread the love, share the love, and I can't wait to see you next week. Love yourself enough to heal, heal yourself enough to thrive. Take care.